Hey, what's happening guys? I am back from my vacation and uh, I was going to start a new project this week, but something has happened. Uh, if you read the thing, I uh, had a family member pass away unexpectedly. So I'm not really in the mindset to uh, be designing something right now. So today we're going to put together this fun little kit. It is a Santa Claus kit from Circuit Pop. If you remember back around Halloween, we did their Cackling Mummy kit. Which was nice because there's just a few parts and uh, it's really well done. So they contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing another one. I said, yeah, absolutely. And I'll put a link down below where you can get this from Circuit Pop. I want to get this out as quickly as possible before Christmas in case you want to get one, you know, for Christmas. So it is a uh, custom shaped PCB board. Here you can see all the tracks and everything. And it uses RGB LEDs and a little, uh, what I assume is a microcontroller. Uh, let's see if we can figure out what it is. There we go. I don't know how well you guys can see it. But this is an uh, STC8051 series, an 8-bit microcontroller. Um, oh, geez, I dropped it. <laughs> That's what happens with these little things, right? You drop them all the time. So it's the STC 15F 101W, little 8051 based uh, microcontroller. So the instructions say we need to start out by soldering in the RGB LEDs with the long leg into the square hole on the PCB. The long leg is the common leg on these, so whether it's common anode or common cathode, that is uh, which one that goes in the square hole. So we get those in there like that. Then same for the other side. I'm just having a little bit of difficulty. One moment. I had to put on the Optivisors so that I could actually see what I was doing. So once we have them in like this, we're going to bend them over at 90 degrees. So far, so good. Then we'll solder them in. Now the instructions say uh, to set your soldering iron at 350 or 320. I set mine at 350. Uh, I don't know. It's just my thing. That's where I like to solder at. But uh, you know, if you don't follow the instructions. You're doing so at your own risk, of course. Well, I tell you what, I might need the optivisor to solder today. I really got some old man eyes going on. No. Missed one. Of course, you always want to make sure you got good joints. No solder bridges. No cold joints. Those are probably supposed to go in from the top, but it really doesn't matter. Hmm. Alright, let me clip off these legs. I'll solder up the other one and we'll be back. Okay, next up are these uh, 470 ohm resistors. And they go in these four resistor places right here. So I'm going to bend the leads and we'll put them in. Okay, those are all bent and ready to go in. And I did check the instructions, and this is right. Every All the components are inserted through the back so that the front has a nice, clean look. Wow, I really can't find the holes today. <laughs> I'm 
don't have to wear the optivisor every day all the time that'd be a look wouldn't it and yeah i have my glasses on but man this must be a bad eye day here they are in place let's hold them down with some painters tape and I'll get those soldered in next. All right. All the joints are looking pretty good there. We'll cut off our excess leads. Yeah. And see what's next in the instructions. So next up, we have a 4.7 K ohm resistor. It goes up here on Santa's arm. Like so. And then next to it we have a transistor. This is an S9012, which is a PNP transistor. So we'll get those soldered in next. So we got those guys soldered up now. We'll cut off those legs. Next up, we have put in the buzzer and one of these two slide switches. One of the slide switches is to turn the music on and off. I believe that's this one. And the other one is for the power. Now notice here the uh, the square space is facing up but there's no polarity markings. I generally think of the square as the ground so I checked with the instructions but it shows that the positive goes to the square in this case. Remember my words, in case when we get this thing on, there's no music, then you can remind me what I did wrong. And these don't quite want to fit. Let me get some pliers and give them a little bendy bend. Let's see if that did the trick. Yep, much better. Alright, I'll solder those up next. Okay, next is the microcontroller. And you can see there is a notch there, which should line up with pin one. So we've got to make sure that we have our pin straight to fit within the holes. Generally, I just do it by hand, but just the other day, I received a wonderful handmade gift from Larry in Canada. Take a look at this beautiful thing handcrafted, filled with what looks like gold flakes. A couple different kinds of wood on there. So what you can do, you put your IC in, upside down, bring that bar over, give her a squeeze, and it straightens out your pins for you beautifully crafted little tool Larry I thank you from the bottom of my heart it's very it was very kind of you that is lovely we'll be using that a lot so then we'll put our IC in the hole I squeeze it a little too much <laughs> That's my fault. That's not Larry's tool. If you have a socket sitting around, you can always put these in sockets as well. Make sure we're in there. Kind of even. Good. And we'll solder that up. 
and we're almost down to the end. Now this kit can be powered by two uh, CR2032 batteries, uh, especially if you're going to hang it on a Christmas tree, you know, that's going to be very useful. But it also has a, uh, a header so that you can apply 5 volts to it from a, another source, say a USB power bank or, you know, whatever, whatever you can get 5 volts out of. So it has a dual power source, it's very nice. Get these pins soldered. Make sure they look presentable. Good, no bridges. And that leaves us with our battery holder. That would be this guy. And one last switch. I'm gonna put the switch in, I'm not gonna worry about the battery holder. Cause I don't have any 2032 sitting around. So we'll power it from the bench supply for our testing purposes. get in there and solder one leg and then make sure it's how we like it yeah got that on the first try that's a miracle so now we're all soldered up Hopefully I did everything right. Got the power supply set for five volts. And I'm gonna solder on a couple wires. So those aren't gonna stay very well. Let me tin up those pads. So positives on the left, we will use a red wire for positive. There we go. And negative, we use a brown wire. good you guys always get nervous when you put something together and you hope it's gonna work I don't think that feeling ever quite goes away does it okay so we'll power up the power supply there we go Can you hear it? Now it's off. Now it's on. Now, you can change songs simply by turning it off and turn it back on. Not very loud. But it works. You can see we have uh, our LEDs slowly fading through different color changes. That's very cool. So this is $6.49 from Circuit Pop. Take you about 20 minutes to put it together. And uh, they have standard three day shipping within the US. I'd like to thank Circuit Pop for sending this out to us free of charge for our consideration. And also a special thanks to Larry for his hard work that went into making this beautiful gift. And I'd like to thank all of you for helping me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. 
uh, now I need your help for the next goal. We're on to a million. That's it. I'm out. Peace.